Here at the National Ignition Facility, we use the largest, most energetic laser system in the world to generate miniature stars in the laboratory as part of our work ensuring the safety, security, and reliability of our nation's nuclear stockpile. The technique we're using is called Inertial Confinement Fusion, or ICF. The idea is we take the laser light that's amplified in this enormous building the size of three football fields side by side and ten stories tall and focus all that laser light down on this tiny target, a capsule sitting inside a hole rock or small cavity. It's an incredibly difficult challenge because the scales at every single step are mind-blowing. Let's take a closer look now at how ICF all comes together. After traveling nearly a mile inside the NIF while they get amplified up in energy, all 192 laser beams enter the whole ROM through two holes at the top and bottom and are precisely aligned to hit a particular spot on the inside wall of this little cavity. That's like standing on the mound at AT&T Park in San Francisco strike. and throwing a strike at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles some 350 miles away. The laser beams then rapidly heat the inside surface of a whole realm, generating an oven of energetic x-rays that is 6 million degrees Fahrenheit in temperature. That'll be like bringing the sun close to where the moon is. That's one heck of a suntan! Those energetic x-rays then start ablating the fuel capsule surface, compressing it at velocities of over 300 kilometers per second. That's like riding from San Francisco to New York in 16 seconds. During the final stage of the implosion, the fuel core reaches pressures of over 300 billion atmospheres and temperatures of 200 million degrees Fahrenheit. 200 million degrees Fahrenheit is seven times hotter than the center of the sun. Under these conditions, nuclei of hydrogen atoms fuse together and create a microscopic star lasting 100 trillionths of a second. A blink of an eye takes 3 billion times longer than that. But for that tiny fraction of a second, we've created the hottest place in the solar system. When the hydrogen nuclei fuse, a tiny amount of mass is converted into a huge amount of energy, according to Einstein's mass-energy relation, E equals mc squared. So if this one gram cube of sugar were our fusion fuel, it would actually produce as much energy as burning 100 barrels of oil. Mm -mm. Together, the team here at Lawrence Livermore National Lab is working hard on its missions to demonstrate fusion ignition, ensure the nation's safety, and do groundbreaking discovery science, all at the same time.